Welcome.
Why, the Gastes has returned. I can only presume you've delivered judgment to Atlantis. You said you outlawed experimentation on humans. All of it was lies. The issue are out of control. What are you talking about? My laws are absolute, and by them all must abide. I have declared it. Your laws have done nothing. People are suffering under your rule, and you don't even realize it. No one would have the audacity to disobey me. Surely this is a mistake. You should listen to her, you know. Chundo. Impossible! You're forbidden from entering the city. Guards! Your guards respect your sons. And when you appointed that hybrid as your dicastis, your sons turned to us. Even my sons know better than to bow to a warmonger! The humans are bringing war whether we want it or not, Poseidon. They should after what you've done. You mean what they've forced us to do. Poseidon worries about the sun and his solar floral regeneration project. Catastrophe is coming for us. On that we agree. But there is only one catastrophe. Humanity. You can't trust Eta. He's a lunatic. You have no idea of the monsters. He's trapped in his hidden lair. It was hidden only to Poseidon. My wife knew everything about it. Hybrid. Project Olympus was my idea. The end of a cycle in Atlantis doesn't have to be a catastrophe. It's far worse. We've detected changes in the surface of the sun. If we don't prepare... If we don't prepare, humans will kill us all. The only ecological catastrophe we face is the one we created ourselves. When I got here, Poseidon said I was where I belonged. Someone tell me why I'm really here, now! Such sadness. She's even more human than I expected. Eta, answer her. Gladly. In you, we found opportunity. Imagine the possibilities if we duplicated your hybrid form. We could employ our technology to control your mind. You, hybrid, can be used to craft Juno's ultimate weapon. Or rather, you could have been. My husband's experiment was promising, but after observation, we've decided you are a failure. Our new weapon is far deadlier than you could ever be. The Ekatohires. Aida, you didn't. I did. The Ekatohires will rise. Project Olympus will strike fear so deeply into the hearts of humanity, they would never consider revolt. And you will declare my husband the Vicastis Vasilevs. Vicastis, stop this. If they are successful, we are doomed. All of us. You have to trust me. You, deal with these two. I'll find a way to stop their plans. was already a success. The Ekatochires lives. Can't you hear him stir? <laughs> you did this in my laboratory under the palace. Entrance was barred when I outlawed human experimentation. What? Is that sound? Is that your weapon? I will bring justice to these two. But I need you to stop the Ekatochires before he kills us all. Go!
remarkable. You really are the greatest of the humans and of my people. Where is Juno and Etta? Imprisoned, for now. But they will not stop. If imprisonment won't stop them, then leave them alone in a room with me. I'll make sure they never hurt anyone again. And what would that prove? That you're as cruel as Juno and her husband? I don't intend to prove anything. I intend to stop this, and save those that suffered because of your hubris. So in the end, you brought judgment to Atlantis after all. Very well, Gustis. Do you still have Cerberus's device? I didn't tell you everything about your stuff. It is a bridge between your two selves. But by coupling it with the powers of the devices you retrieved from the Cerberus and the Gatohires, we can end Atlantis' cycle forever. I wasn't just awakening my sixth sense. I was unlocking the power to destroy the entire city. In the wrong hands, the staff has the power to destroy everything. That is why you, and only you, could be its keeper. You act like you knew this would happen. I'm tired, just as you are. I waited many cycles for Atlantis' final judgment to come. I only wish it had come sooner. Think of the suffering it would have prevented. If we do this, you and your sons... My family have had generations to show kindness, modesty, temperance. We refused. And in so doing, this choice was made by us as much as by you. The humans in this city don't deserve to die. When we do this, the horns will wail and the animals will be set free. Humans in the Borimos ring will know to take their boats. I assure you, they will escape. If we sink the city, but I'm in it, then I die too. No. You are the keeper of the stuff. It will protect you. Unfortunately for you, now is not your time. You said it yourself. Juno and Aida will never stop. I've seen those laboratories, the experiments in them. There's only one way to end the suffering here. Destroy this place.
My one wish is that I had more time to learn from you. In time, I may have learned to be more human. Get it, Poseidon. Keeper of the staff, your trials are over. Back in the throne room. Tell me, now that you have seen the fate of Atlantis, how do you feel? With the staff, I hold the power to destroy an entire city. Which is why you were given the ability to control that power. Only in your hands will the destructive potential of the staff remain hidden. So what was all this? What you have experienced are echoes of memories. Distorted, but no less real. Whose memories? These two. Some are even my own. In my time as because this, I also tried to bring balance to Atlantis, but it wasn't enough. You? And now you... My trials in Elysium brought destruction and rebellion. Not due to you, but Persephone. She was a ruler who controlled her domain through extreme order. In so doing, you saw that her rule was doomed to failure. In the underworld, I was forced to endure a realm of Pure chaos. Indeed. Hades was a king who invited that chaos, and devastation came with it. But know this. You will be forced to endure far worse suffering before your death has come. Elysium and the Underworld were doomed. But in Atlantis, I almost thought Poseidon and I could do some good. Yet there you discovered the issue as we really were. Flawed. No matter how many times I have seen that echo of memory, my home always meets destruction. I'm ready to leave. You coming? We are entwined after all. You saw Persephone rule through order, Hades through chaos, and even had a taste of being a ruler yourself in Atlantis. It was a disaster. You have seen there is no path to power for the Keeper. In the staff, you have the ability to bring this world to its knees, but that is not your role. You must use your strength to restrain the power of the staff, to guard it, to keep. My mother once told me I was sent by the gods to protect this world. I gave her my word. And now, I give my word to you. And what of your word, heir of memories? You must wake up and redeem yourself before it's too late, or it will be you who tears this world apart. Now wait. The interloper has found you. Wait. Now. No. Where are you? Talking to yourself, Layla Hassan. Clearly, the Isu artifact has had quite the effect on you. You're going mad. Mr. Berg, you finally showed up. Most impressive. 
I knew if anyone could discover this place, it was you. But you left Abstergo before you could be assigned this mission. Sigma-6 found it just fine after you tapped into our comm signal. We know it was you. Correct. What you don't know is that I've been listening in for much longer. Ever since you found the book of Herodotus, from Templar research I'm sure you stole. Abstergo are murderers, and you're nothing but their killing machine. A righteous claim. And what of the Sigma team I dispatched earlier to find you? You killed them. Look, I saw your files in the Abstergo database. I know about Alina. If you knew what the staff could do for her... Don't say a word about her. Then forget it. I was trying to compromise. No compromising. The artifact is coming with me. You had no right to do what you did to Deanna. You should have come after me. You are always next on the list. I'll check you off today. You're a real Yahomar, so this is over. Indeed. The world... It does matter. I'll always be an assassin. And if you want the staff, you're gonna have to take it from me. First Victoria, now me. Admit it. You... Wanna know my favorite thing about the staff? Don't collect. It's the immortality. <laughs> The thing is, Mr. Berg, I don't care if you live or die. You just gotta get out of my way. <coughs> Face it. Templar's lost. <coughs> Okay, think, Layla. Your comms are broken. How do you get help? Vic, I can't do this without you. I try to hide it, but I, I'm scared. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm alone. I need you. Please, come back. Send me a sign, at least. Anything. Your earpiece. Can anyone hear me? Victoria, uh, we've been trying to find a way to force communication. First, we lost everyone's vitals, and Elena. then... It's me. Layla? Uh, how? This is Victoria's channel. Where is she? What's been happening down there? Did you finish the trials? Yes, we have the staff. I finished our trials, but... That's incredible! An actual Isu artifact in assassin control. This changes everything. I'm not in control, Elena, and nothing's changed. Also, Berg is the interloper. He's in the throne room with me. 
Look, I'll explain everything, but the Templars know what we're doing and they're after us. I need you to get me out of here. With you? Uh, are you safe? We fought. He passed out, but he's stable. Please don't make me check on him. You didn't kill him? No. He's still alive. Sit tight, Layla. We're coming for you, but it might take time. What are you gonna do? Until you get here, I'm going back into the Animus. There are a lot of people to say goodbye to.